the back. The Friars got the Butler Bulldogs' best shot Sunday afternoon, but the home team withstood every punch, fighting their way to a 69-62 victory. It was the big man, Nate Watson, who scored 18 points and delivered the biggest bucket of the game. It was nip and tuck the whole way. Um, obviously, playing here at the dunk is always great. Thought our crowd energized us with under eight minutes, and um, you know the big fella kept his kept his composure, and he did what he was supposed to do. Nate's supposed to lead us to wins. That's his job. He's been here for a while. He's the leader. When they talk about Providence College basketball in this 2021-22 season, he is at the top of the board, and he did a great job, so I'm really proud of him. Well, I am a leader on the team, so I'm trying to go in the game and finish it. I got to do whatever coach wants me to do, and that's why you have to, you know, really be in shape. You know, we're, he's constantly on me about, you know, getting in the gym, getting extra shots up, and, and staying in shape and eating the right thing. So that's what I did today, and I felt like I really executed down the stretch. It was a special day in Friartown with Athletic Director Bob Driscoll formally announcing his plans to retire this spring. The win was that much sweeter for Coach Cooley. I think this was a day for him. This is a win for him. Um, he's a big reason why Providence College is in the position it is athletic-wise. When you look at the facilities, I think today is about Bob. And I just want to say thank you to the job that he's done. And I'll, uh, he's one of my best friends in the world. When I saw his picture up there on the Jumbotron and I saw him clapping, it was honestly emotional for me. And I was clapping with the crowd and he's done a lot for the Friars, he's done a lot for me. And uh, you know, I'm, just, I'm happy to know him as a person. And, I'm, and I'm, I just want to say thank you for all the things you've done for Providence College. The win puts the Friars at 16-2 for the first time since the 1977-1978 season, which Coach Cooley says speaks to how much this team has bought in. We still got a long way to go, but where we are today, I think it's a credit to the players. It's a credit to the preparation emotionally, mentally. It's a credit to guys having buy-in. Nobody talks about the players who don't play, right? I want to make sure that our players who don't play understand how grateful I am as the coach and our staff helping us get ready to that point. It, it just tells you like, you know, guys like playing with one another. And you all may feel this as well when you see kids having fun and I told the guys in the locker room, they gave me energy at the end of the game. They wanted to run a certain thing to get him the ball. I had something in mind and they basically told me, hell no, coach, run this. And when you got that level of buy-in coming from your players, it's not about what you're saying, it's about what they're feeling. And you as the leader have to understand that. It's not about what you're saying, it's about what the players feel. With their sixth league win, the Friars are 6-1 and one in the Big East for the first time in program history. They head out to Cincinnati, Ohio to play the Xavier Musketeers this Wednesday night at 6.30 p.m. That's your post-game report. For PC Friars MVP, I'm Nick Rojas.